So people always ask me, what's the most important thing with their driver? Is it club head speed? Is it type of shot? And I would argue the number one skill with your driver is you've got to hit the ball in the center of the club face. So today you're going to, you're going to get a treat watching me do a drill. We'll see how I do. I'm not doing a whole lot of practice. And we're going to do a drill called four corners. And I'm going to use this face spray and I'm going to spray this on the face. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to basically be dividing the face into four corners. So I'm going to actually draw on this as we're recording here. And I'm going to break the face up into four different corners. So I've got high, low, toe, heel. So we've got high toe, low toe, uh, high heel, and low heel. So most of the time when someone's hitting their, their driver bad, they're just hitting it all over the face. It's not necessarily that their path is terrible. Um, it's really off-center strikes because that's what creates a lot of spin and then that's what creates a lot of curve. And so this is a skill that we should be trying to master even if our swing is less than desirable. I have seen plenty of person that hits the ball fine with let's say a path of 8 to 10 degrees left or right but because they generally hit the center of the face the shot isn't that bad. So if we can train this skill then I think you're gonna you're gonna definitely see some lower scores. So let's jump into it and and I'm gonna kind of walk you through how I do this and I and I'll bring the I'll bring the driver back after every shot and I'm not saying I'm gonna nail this thing but I'm definitely gonna try so let's start with a low toe strike so low toe strikes gonna be this bottom right corner right here and how I'm really doing that it, it's not through my setup at all I'm gonna be setting up the same I'm basically gonna be picturing kind of like I always think about this as almost like a a baseball hitter where the pitcher's throwing a ball and I'm having to adjust my arms by extending or shortening to be able to hit different parts of the face and then almost like t-ball I'm having to raise or lower my arc to hit different spots on the face so I'm not going to be swinging necessarily any different um, from a path or or a delivery standpoint but I'm really going to be focusing on moving this way and up and down just through skill we'll call that just skill development so here we go. So we're going low toe, and we're going to see how many balls it takes me to hit the four corners. I would say someone that's really proficient is going to be doing this in five or six balls. All right, so I'm picturing right there. So high off the ground, toe. Okay, it was definitely toey. Okay, so there's one strike. You can see pretty low on the face and a little toey. And if you saw, that ball went very, very far right and low right off the bat. So as I was saying, if I'm hitting it that far off the face, it's going to be going that way. It's not going to be going very far. It's going to be launching really low. And you may say, well, why, why do I need to do this? It's really about adjustment. If you're playing and you're noticing that you're hitting high heel all day and you can do something like this and move it to the low toe strike, then you're going to hit the ball a lot different. What I see is people generally miss in the same spot every single shot. So doing something like this kind of trains someone to be able to move that contact point very very minusculely which generally will um, will help them find the center okay so let's go extreme so I'm gonna go uh, let's go high heel so high heel is going to be this uh, top left box this one's probably the hardest for me just because I already kind of tend to um, tow the ball so when I'm doing high heel you know, I'm not standing closer I'm gonna be feeling like I'm, I'm delivering the club lower to the ground and reaching my arms this way so people that heal it, for some reason you're creating less space. That's either through your body moving this way or your arms are extending. So I'm almost trying to do that to high heel this guy. Okay, so here I'm coming down, I'm overreaching, and I'm lowering the club. Ooh, that felt really high heel. Okay, man, I'm on fire today. You're probably thinking this is some AI CG thing. So there's high heel. And if we were like touching the lines, that's totally fine. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. You can see the T strike there is pretty high on the face. And again, this is all done through the radius of my arms. I'm not necessarily trying to swing a whole lot different. Now I might be, but I'm not necessarily trying to do that. Okay, so we're two for two. Now we're gonna go, let's go high toe just to constantly be changing the pattern here. So as we set up, now I'm trying to shorten the radius of my arms. So as I shorten the radius of my arms, the club is going to be closer to me. But if I do that, I got to make sure I don't raise the club up or I would hit low toe again. So I have to feel like I'm almost hitting driver off the deck and the club is close to me. 
Frequently when someone's missing off the heel and I want them to tow, I'll have them literally swing and miss the ball on the inside because if they miss the ball on the inside, they would, con they would be much, much closer to towing it. A lot of people really heal their driver. Okay, we're going high tow. Four corners, we're two for two. I'm getting nervous. There's the feeling. Oh my gosh. I almost missed the ball. Okay, pretty close. That's my normal miss. You can see that's pretty high toe. I might be a little bit close. So I'd say so far we're three for three. That might have been a little low, but that definitely was high toe. Trackman would have had that probably 15 millimeters high. All right, so last one would be low heel, which is definitely my least favorite to try, but we're gonna try. I'm not changing, if you'll notice, I'm not changing the T height. I see that a lot when people are struggling with their driver, they'll change the T height. T height really changes delivery. And as I'm showing you right now, you should be able to move the contact toe heel high toe just by effort, not necessarily changing the T height. Is it okay to change the T height? Yes, but just note that when you move it up, you're probably gonna swing more up and right. And then when you tee it down, you're definitely gonna swing less up and maybe more left. Now I'm saying all that as a right-handed golfer. All right, so this is the toughest one for me. So this is going to be feeling off the ground and reaching. I'm gonna really try to exaggerate this. So I'm gonna do my rehearsal. Extend and up. Ah, okay. We'll do that one again here in a second. You can see very healy, but a little high in the face. So nothing wrong necessarily with how I delivered it from the heel standpoint, but the club has to be higher off the ground. So that's what I'm gonna focus on on this next one is doing the exact same amount of arm stretch while feeling like the club is a little bit higher off the ground. Okay, let's do that again. So trying to lower that probably about 10 millimeters or so. And that's pretty high on the tee. I actually think I teed this one up higher than my last one, which is fine. Again, I'm not choking up. So high off the ground. Almost feels like I'm gonna like top it. You ever seen those guys, like those trick shot artists that can hit something off a, a tee like this high? This is kind of what I'm doing, <clears throat> which I would argue there's just a lot of skill involved in this. And this is just as valuable as working on your swing, working on your lead wrist. These are the kind of things that I think really travel well and like, create improvement much, much faster than always working on our swing. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. I almost missed the ball. There we go. Not surprising as I raise the club, it definitely healed a little bit more. Hopefully you can see that really well. Okay, let's see if I can hit the bullseye. <laughs> That's the hard part. And again, I think we don't have to be hitting it right in the center. If we can find those four corners, we can generally find the middle pretty well. So I've got a really nice dispersion here. So I'm gonna to go to my normal strike or what I would normally intend. We'll see. That was a pretty good strike. Yeah, and we can see that one was barely in the heel right there. So pretty close. So the whole point of this is, and again, I'm not practicing a whole lot these days, but this to me is the type of skills that really transfer to playing better golf. Uh, everyone has issues in their swing and I can guarantee you on a couple of those swings, I swung way left or way right and that's okay. But if I can find the center of the face, not only here, but with my, with my putter, with my irons, with my wedges, that's gonna make me a much more consistent player because honestly, consistency doesn't come down to macro movements. It comes down to micro movements like this, being able to move this. So get you some Dr. Scholl's just like this go to the range, spray the face, get a tee, mark it up, make a four corners drill and see if you can do this. I, my guess is you're probably gonna miss the same way over and over, that's what most people do. And so if you can get better at this, I guarantee you that will help your face contact, which ultimately will help your driving, it will go further and you'll have more predictability. So hope this was helpful, drop a comment. If you haven't subscribed, do so and uh, good luck with the four corners.